what is meant by a regular astigmatism? So a regular astigmatism is when the bow tie of a topography map is a bit tweaked. It's either not in a straight line, which means it's not orthogonal, or there's asymmetry between the two sides, which means they're asymmetrical. In other words, you have a lot more colour on the topographic map on one side than the other, or you have a combination of both. How did you envisage treating irregular astigmatism? I know we can treat the irregular component of the irregular astigmatism, but how do we actually address the highly irregular component? Conventional treatments don't actually address corneal irregularity. What can be done to address the irregularity is to divide the cornea into two hemidivisions with a corneal astigmatism magnitude and orientation for each of the two halves, and with this common manifest refraction. So in effect you're doing vector planning times two for the two sides of the cornea separately and developing a TAA or a treatment for each of the two halves of the cornea separately. And in this way you're able to regularize and reduce the astigmatism at the same time. Given you are treating the corneal irregularity, one would imagine there is potential to improve a patient's best corrected visual acuity. Would that be correct? I think that's absolutely true. It's probably the unique feature of it all. Because not only are you going to have a reduction in the need for glasses, but you're actually going to be able to see better with or without glasses. If you're reducing irregularity and you're reducing astigmatism, you have less of a tweak on a cornea, you're going to have less distortions, and therefore you're going to have actually have an improvement in the best corrected vision of the eye.